Hello friends, Jay Todd coming to you from the Strip in Sin City, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. Hello friends, so good to be back for 2020 after taking some time off for the holidays, but enough chit chat. Let's get right back into things with this week's big story. December 20th was the deadline for the U.S. Department of Justice to file their appeal in the federal Wirac case. And they did, with about 47 minutes left before the deadline. Because hey, there's nothing like waiting till the last possible moment the DOJ still incorrectly believes that the Wire Act somehow applies to all forms of online gambling because, after all, I'm sure the internet is exactly what Robert Kennedy had in mind when he was pushing this act back in 1961. Now, the DOJ lost round one of this epic legal battle when a federal judge in New Hampshire said that, in fact, the Wire Act only applies to sports betting, but the DOJ shall not be deterred from their agenda of criminalizing all interstate online gambling. In fact, the DOJ has actually doubled down on their position in this appeal, basically regurgitating the same vomitous mass of arguments that they made in the first court case. I suppose they're hoping that a new judge sees this a new way. Of course, as soon as the Department of Justice filed their appeal, the Coalition to Stop Internet Gambling jumped on board, which is not terribly surprising considering that they're only a mouthpiece for Sheldon Adelson. The Coalition spokesperson, John C. Bruning, or Brunning, or however the hell you pronounce it, I really don't care, well, he looked like a jackass a couple of years ago when he testified before a congressional subcommittee on this matter. And what's, what's wrong with his picture? Can we zoom out a little bit, please? Okay, well, that explains it. It's hard not to look stupid when Sheldon Adelson's hand is so far up your butt, it's moving your lips and, you know, his words are just coming out of your mouth, blah, 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 blah. And with the American elections coming up this year, you may be interested to know that Democratic presidential frontrunner Joe Biden has taken a position on internet gambling and the Wire Act. And Sheldon Adelson's not going to like it. Biden says that he does not support unnecessary restrictions on the gaming industry like the current administration does. And if he's elected, he will reverse the decision of the DOJ that was reversed and then reverse and the court reversed it before they, they revert, they, oh, they reverse the, this, then it comes and it, we reverse, reverse, reverse. Yeah, not, I think that's right. At any rate, you can find these stories and more when you visit our website at thisweekingambling.com. And when we come back from the break, we're going to have news on another state that's regulating online gambling and sports betting. Plus, the world of virtual reality has arrived in Las Vegas. And maybe virtual reality can bring Las Vegas to you. This week's special promotion is for Gossip Slots. Casino City has an exclusive offer for Gossip Slots and thousands of other gaming sites. Visit online.casinocity.com for details or follow the link in the description below this video. Hey, welcome back. While I was on vacation, the state of Michigan went and regulated online gambling and sports betting. Those sneaky guys. No word yet on when any of this will be up and running, but the hope is that sports betting will be in place in time for March Madness. 
Now, let's take a look at a brand new interview we just did with Dreamland XR to discuss virtual reality games currently in Las Vegas and the future of VR casino games that players could be enjoying in their homes. We talk about Poker Stars VR as well as the interactive live play games at MGM Grand, The Lynx, and The Venetian. You can find this interview along with game reviews and new videos on our channel. While you're there, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> wow, I tell you, VR is really amazing. I actually feel like I'm in a YouTube video. Ah! Cutie pie! It's Shake and Bake, and I helped!